Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy Worthy and Priceless, and today's podcast is titled Nagging versus Caring. Um, I have been doing a lot of relationship talk podcasts, and that's because I am coming out with a relationship book. I'm in the editing phase. It's not really that long, so it's more like a handbook type of thing. Um, but I think it's like 50 pages or more. I'm still kind of writing, editing, and all the other good stuff. So anyway, that is why I'm having a little bit more podcasts about relationships. So, um, like I said, this podcast is titled, uh, nagging versus caring. And that's because a lot of times in relationships, we want to say that our mate is nagging us or they're always constantly telling us the same thing, blah, blah, blah type of thing. And I would like to counter suit that by saying that it's probably not nagging. It is because they care. If somebody doesn't care about you, you're not going to hear anything about it. But because they care, they're going to say something to you. And you have to realize that you are in a relationship. So whatever you do affects the person that you're dating as well. So if you decide that you want to come in in the middle of the night, drunk or sober, but you want to come in the middle of the night, it's not affecting just you. It affects your mate and it affects your children as well because they have to get up or, you know what I mean, somebody coming in the house type of thing. So be mindful of the things that you do. And you also have to think too, if you're not doing anything that warrants a nag or so you would like to possibly call it, then there's nothing that they could say. So if you have a kid or something like that, there's a kid that, that you have in your vicinity, they do everything else right. The only thing that they do wrong is that they don't clean up their room. So you tell them every day, clean up your room, clean up your room, clean up your room. And then you just, you're at your wits end and you say, you know what? I do everything else for you. All I ask you to do is just clean up your room. The child thinks about it. And what happens in a magical world? They clean up their room. Guess what? You have nothing else to talk about because they clean up their room. And I know some of you be like, no, but they'll figure out something else. Yes, but then there'll be something that you have to deal with at that time. But for the most part, someone shouldn't have to ask you over and over to do the things that is required of a relationship such as respect, honesty, loyalty type of thing. That is what comes in a relationship. That is what you're choosing when you're dating somebody that, hey, even if it's not marriage, but if you're saying that, hey, we're going to be exclusive. So what would you expect out of an exclusive relationship? I expect you not to cheat. I expect you to respect me. I expect you to be loyal and be honest when I ask you something. If you can't do the basics, then how would I go in the long run with you? Just a simple thing. Like, because for the most part, and I'm not saying every relationship leads to marriage, but a lot of times people are dating somebody that they think that they could marry or they want to be with for the rest of their life. And they should be doing the actions, you know, to make me feel like, hey, you'll be safe enough or you're... You have the capacity to, hey, I can marry you one day, put it that way, type of thing. But your actions, if I ask you to do something simple, like just, you know, like the like I said, like the basics, respect me and this, that, and the third. And you can't do that. And you're like, well, you always ask me to do this. And it's like, because you're not doing it. If you do it, I don't have anything else to say to you. I don't have to keep saying the same thing to you. I care about you. I want you to succeed in life. So I'm going to say, hey, maybe you shouldn't go down that route. Or maybe you should do this or this, that, and the third. And it's not nagging. I'm saying it because I care. If I didn't care, we wouldn't be together type of thing. So in certain situations, you're going to have to deal with it. If you're not willing to change. And if you're not willing to change... Please let your mate know. That's not something I'm willing to change. So you can make a different type or you can have a different type of conversation type of thing. Because, like I said over and over, if somebody cares about you, they're going to require things of you. And they're going to ask you certain things and they're going to need you to do certain things. And if you're not willing to do it, be honest with your mate and say, hey, 
I'm not willing to change. That's not something I'm going to do. So that you guys are not wasting each other's time type of situation. So you don't have to worry about them being a nag and and they don't have to try to convince you. I, I just really care about you type of thing. So either catch the words or catch the door type of thing, you know. So until next time, just wanted to give you that little encouragement. Maybe that maybe another perspective or another way of looking at it. They're not nagging you. They just care about you. They love you and they want your relationship to succeed. In order for it to succeed, they have to have a conversation with you. That is what relationships are. You're not just dating yourself. What you do affects not just you, it affects the person that you're with. And if they are unhappy, then they'll probably make your life very unhappy. So, type of thing, you know, just a little, you know. But <laughs> just wanted to give you that encouragement and um, there will be a part two that I'm doing and you guys will see it the day after, but I'm going to record it right after this. So until next time, just know that you are worthy, worth it and priceless. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.